The Boba Fett and Mandalorian Star Wars news keeps on coming, and we've got even more reports about Boba Fett's role past Season 2 in The Mandalorian. We're going to break it down, and I promise you it will blow your mind. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Crush that like button like you're trying to crush the rebellion. And let's get right into this news. Now, I'm not going to put all of my favorite Boba Fett toys on camera just to show you guys how excited I am about this news. You think it's a bad idea? Really? But suffice it to say, I'm really excited about this freaking news. Now, this exclusive was gotten and scooped up by The Direct, and The Direct is a reliable source. They've got a lot of good sources. They put out good stuff. But unlike when it's coming from one of the Hollywood trades, one of the major trades, I cannot say that this is 100%, but uh, I'm going to read right now from their exclusive, and then we'll break down my thoughts. It says right here, The Mandalorian has easily been one of the most popular entries in the Disney Star Wars era, the first live-action series set in the galaxy far, far away. Star Wars fans were introduced to Din Djarin and the child in November of 2019 and the latter character is now the most searched in the franchise on the internet topping even Darth Vader Baby Yoda took the world by storm and the first season was a smash hit introducing us to several new characters in the Star Wars universe while telling a contained story in a western setting there are many blanks that still need to be filled in and there's been an onslaught of familiar characters reportedly set to appear in the second season headed our way this fall it's been widely reported that Ahsoka Tano Sabine Ren and Captain Rex are all set to appear in an episode of season two, each making their live action debut. A major report broke that Tamara Morrison would be playing the role of Boba Fett in the upcoming series as well in a limited role. As fans anticipate the appearance of these beloved characters, Lucasfilm and Disney are setting their scopes on the third season of The Mandalorian, including the continued role for the beloved a bounty hunter. According to a reliable source with industry knowledge, fan favorite bounty hunter Boba Boba Fett will return for The Mandalorian's third season currently in early development. Tamara Morrison will reprise the role, and the infamous captor of Han Solo is said to play a much larger role in season three of Din Djarin's story than he will in the second season. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Okay, so they go on in the article to talk about the strangeness with Boba Fett not exactly being a Mandalorian. We've been covering this a lot lately. We did two videos in the past three days about this, I believe, because Friday the scoop came out about Tamara Morrison, and we talked about how uh, Rex and Sabine are apparently going to be in there. We talked about that yesterday on the channel. And today, there's new information from The Direct claiming that Boba Fett is going to play a much larger role in Season 3. Now, this does track because currently they are pretty much wrapping up season two a lot of these scoops coming out about actors that are going to be in the show this is all semi old information it was sort of breaking in the rumblings late last year and now it's all being confirmed and being reported by the trades but a lot of this stuff w was already done like ah ahsoka has already been shot like rosario dawson has already shot her scenes tamara morrison has already shot his scenes a lot of season two is probably done but now we're starting to get word about developments for season three and the timing makes sense so i'm gonna sort of add that to a feather in the cap of the scoop from the direct i think it's probably real now as i've been saying in a lot of my coverage of this there's really two big ways they can connect boba fett to the larger story of din Djarin and of the child number one is through mandalore itself we have been talking about how boba fett is not actually considered a mandalorian how some of the mandalorians really looked down on boba fett and fans of boba fett and Django fett are like kind of confused by this they want to see that resolved and so boba's character could play a role in resolving that and helping Din Djarin to either rebuild Mandalore, find other Mandalorians, or something like that. The other way, and honestly the way I'm starting to lean towards, is with Kamino. Boba was a product of Kamino. The child is either a product of Kamino, or he has ties to Kamino. We know this from Dr. Pershing being in that outfit with the badge of Kamino. He extracts some kind of material, or at least that's what the client wanted him to do, is extracting the necessary material. Moff Gideon wants the child for some reason. We think it has to do with the Force. But in either case, the connection here is the fact that Kamino Mino might play a big role in the future of the child in resolving the child's arc and Boba Fett lived on Kamino. He was created on Kamino. Now his father was a natural
natural born person, but he is technically a clone of Django. Okay. And so I'm starting to lean towards that because honestly, like if you think about it, if we're going into a third season, there's likely a lot of stuff going to be resolved with Moff Gideon and with the Mandalorians in season two but the child will still need to have his story resolved. And so I really think that if we look ahead to a season three, it would make sense that Camino and the Force and something to do with cloning, that stuff will probably play a major role here. Now, look, that's just what I'm speculating about. It's even possible that Boba Fett is a big time villain in season three, and maybe he's just tracking down Din Djarin and the child, and he's very capable, very badass. That could be really cool, but I kind of want them to baby face a turn or face turn Boba and make him a little bit of an anti hero. I'd like to see him and Din Djarin hang hanging out, bonding over Mandalorian type stuff, and then working together to do something for Baby Yoda. And I think it would be great if Boba got this sort of redemptive arc where he's able to do something to try to help the child out, to try to help Din Djarin out, maybe even help the Mandalorians out, but sort of like give him that sort of a thing in canon where it's like, yeah, he was this bounty hunter, he was bad, he, he obviously captured Solo, did a lot of bad stuff. But late in his life, he meets up with Din Djarin and this other clone, and or you know if baby yoda's a clone and he decides to help din Djarin and baby yoda setting up all of this other stuff i just think that would be a cool sort of legacy thing to give to the boba fett character but as i said i'm kind of just a big fanboy about it so that's what i would want i'm curious as to what you would want let us know your thoughts in the comment section below now let's shout out damian ryan yes indeed sasha banks is rumored to play sub Bean Ren in the second season of The Mandalorian. So shout out to you, Damien. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know what is the model of ship that Boba Fett uses? And I'm not asking about the name of his ship, but rather the model of ship that he uses. Answer that question in the comment section below. If you absolutely need more nerdy content in your life, click or tap over there to watch some more of our content or come on by our live streaming channel every day, Monday through Friday, where we stream for an hour starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like the video if you liked it or if you want to take your support to the next level. Join the list of amazing people you see listed below and check out our Patreon for some behind the scenes content. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.